hello welcome back to my channel um for today's video i choose to post this mesmer process video since the trailer drop i couldn't be so and more excited to see it uh i think it's been like over than six months since i'm bugging my boyfriend like what's going on when they will drop it everyone knows like it's coming because they were they were planning it already i remember i think it's on steam they were doing kind of like the hidden update or something so it's been a while since we were waiting for this dlc and now that i can see it i'm so excited and every time i'm trying to paint something like in the, the hype of the thing i'm always late like always missing the boat and this time i was like oh no no i have time to do it i want to do it i'm so excited for now and i will say he's probably my favorite character but i don't even know him like the only thing we know right now is like he's probably the a lord of shadow or something because <clears throat> if you're playing elden ring a bit you probably know that we can't find anything about him in the game it's like it's like it, it was never been there never existed the only stuff you can probably find like people are talking about on the internet and oh basically like i'm apologize in advance like i'm not an expert in elden ring at all or any from software i just love them so much i'm trying my best like to having my knowledge in it my interest but by any means what i'm seeing here you have to take it like it's what it is i will probably like uh, forget stuff missing stuff but i'll do my best to explain what i at least i understand from the game so yes like i said what we understand about mesmer right now is it wasn't in, in like a lunar ring on the plane we are playing right now and the the stuff you can find about him is a catacomb uh i think that's how i have to pronounce it i'm not sure my french accent is taking over today i don't know if it's because of the allergies or like being tired or something because i have to be honest i'm playing this game too much right now since i know the dlc dropped i just got back to it try to find every piece of the game i can find so <laughs> I'm probably being like a little gremlin right now. So yes, I apologize in advance if my accent, my allergies, my everything is like a bit floppy today. So yes, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, about what we can find. So yes, you can find a catacombs called... Wait a sec, I have to remember. I think it's the... Yes, em Impaler's Catacombs. So this one, you can find it near... The uh, Oridus is rice, and when you go inside, the thing is, at the end you find nothing. There's nothing to be found. Like, not like someone tried to erase the fact that Mesmer even existed, but kind of. Because so far, what what else we know is one of Marika's child. If you're playing the game, you probably noticed too. All the Americas and Radagan's children have the same same letter, capital M in their name. So we have for sure for now. And if I remember right, it got confirmed by uh, the Japanese IGN that Mesmer is Marika's child officially. So we have him, we have um, Mikila and Melania. And what else I want to know too, who was bugging me for a while, is who's Melina then? Some people were speculating she could be Marika's kind of projection or something, which I'm not sure I will buy because Marika is already like half part Radigan. She's already another person. So three in one, I don't know, it seems kind of like far-fetched to me, but could could happen. Everything in this game could happen. You may think the weirdest stuff, like, oh no, there is no way they will do that. And sometimes that happens. So I would not be surprised, but it still doesn't make me, doesn't, I don't know, doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. Also, 
in the trailer we can see mesmer and he's having his left eye closed i don't know if it's just because the, of the purpose of this scene in particular or something but he's having it and melina have it too and she have i don't i still don't i probably should have read that before talking about that but it's been so long and i just like watched too much of Vadi's video and a bunch of too much like more video and i'm not sure if it's Vati who is saying that i think so but they talk about the the symbol on her left eye like I, i'm not sure if it's a fire symbol or something like that i don't remember well i should probably look at that like after the video that's probably what i will do so i wonder if she have like kind of connection with Miss Mer because Michaela is Malenia's twin and every time in the like those characters and those set up with Marika slash Redagon it's always about two two persons so you have Marika's who's also Radagon and they give birth to twins so I wonder if Melina and Miss Mer would also have been twins in a way like and getting separated because you have like all, all the time in this game you have the um, the opposite concept so you have Malenia who's possessed by the goddess of wrath so her body will decay forever and ever and on the other hand you have Mikila who's cursed by eternal youth and in this one it could be Mesmer who's stuck in the shadow land and having Malenia who's in like the the land we are in now oh god i got a blank but it could be potentially that kind of stuff and at the same time she gave us torrent at the beginning of the game which we don't really know who he is but he knows us and he was also Mikila's steed before so i wonder if like as far as we understand too and bear with me please it's kind of complicated to me too to talk about that i never mostly i do that with my boyfriend and that's it but now i'm like trying to put that on a video when it's such a mess but you can see the cocoons in the Mikela's like tree and they were kind of saying the way for Mikela's to go in the shadow land was to let his like flesh aside so the shadow land could potentially potentially be like an afterlife or something but also still a physical one which we are not we don't know yet but that's probably what this is kind of so i was thinking about that today if maybe like torrent knows us because before we were kind of dead and maybe we went in the shadow and before so Mikela saw us before too which we maybe don't remember because we got kind of resurrected but that's that's so much big speculation and i so don't know i'm just talking like put that out of the air and the other stuff i'm trying to find in the game too for now is the those stupid butterflies because you can find the nascent butterflies who are related to your Mikela. you also have the it's not the rod butterfly but like kind of like the dk one who were before potentially connected to the goddess of rod to melania and you have the fire one and for a long time people were thinking the fire one was Melania one uh Melania oh no Melina one here we go I'm gonna probably like fudged up again I'm so sorry uh I'm too much into this video and also too much into this story and too much of everything and for god's sake their names sometimes are hard to just remember because you think of one and you will just say another one so yes the the smoldering butterflies were probably connected to Melina but for now we don't know because we can see mesmer too in the video so they could be related to, to this one. Oh, and the other stuff i forget to talk about too is um yes you have the like contrast between twins but also we discovered in the game like michaela is having 
another form who will be Centrina. So Centrina, we don't know for sure like what this character will be, if she will be like good or bad. Uh, and I have a feeling maybe maybe she could potentially be the one who be who will be fighting or something, or maybe Mikela, because we can see Mismer, but there's a bunch of bosses we didn't see yet. And I'm very curious about that. I'm so happy. I can't wait until June. It's so long. Oh, and now in this video, <laughs> I should probably talk about my video a bit too, about my process, which I just forget. I'm just, I just, I just love to much this game. I'm sorry. In this, in this sequence, you can see like I put some butterfly around. Like I just, I love bringing a concept to my painting to like some props. It's just the way I am. I'm just sucker for that kind of stuff. So I put butterflies around to just remind the, the butterflies I was talking about. But the fact is, every time I'm paying for washi tape, I'm trying to find like a good looking one. And I'm like, oh, this one will be, look so cute in a video or something. This stupid tape never stuck on my paper. Never and ever. I don't know why some people can do that, make cute videos and like this, the tape stick and everything. But you can see on some part of the video, I'm just putting my hands around. I'm trying to like put the tape like stick together again but it never do so i have to put another layer on this one again because everything was like lifting up i was thinking at first it's because i was using my table as um, the medium so that the tape couldn't stick well on plastic but it's not what it is now it's just it never does i think the tape just hates me they just they're like dude no don't don't try we, we don't we won't stick just forget it and every time I'm like, you know what? No, I want you on this paper. I want you to look good. You have a purpose in life and this is it. But every time it's like a fight. And this video, I probably, I almost quit filming it four or five times. Because every time something was distracting me, like the tape, first of all, the stupid tape, I, I could look at it like, <laughs> you know, when it just slowly lift by itself and you're like god no please stay bear with me stick with me and stay here and no it didn't so i was getting so much distracted by that so small stuff distract me it doesn't take much so with any bit of tape a cat anything a sound everything is distress just distracting and i got this part for this painting it was pretty hard all the painting actually was kind of like a tough challenge because i had the feeling i made bad decisions on bad decisions and it was a never-ending bad decision story about this painting at first i did my line in my procreate app no that's not true actually i made it on my sketchbook couple of like uh, poses to see what will suit best for him because i really wanted to put his two snakes on the picture and i was like how i can turn that to be like looking good and we can also see that i tried and every time i'm doing like a painting about a character in elden ring or dark souls or whatever i'm trying to put as much like as reference and realism i can so yes i did it on my sketch after i put that on procreate did my line for that it was working pretty well i was happy and after <laughs> the challenge begin so i mostly do my color palette reference on my app on procreate just to see before i'm gonna paint how it will look like and mesmer gave me such a hard time because you probably notice it too if you are playing those games but everything it's kind of i want to say flat but very much tone to tone so if you have a character who's red everything around will look kind of like reddish so for mesmer it was a big brown palette i try another system too on internet you have some free website if you want to try you can put your picture on it and they will generate uh, a palette color for your picture so you can like see which are your four or five most used color for this picture so i tried that first to see how it will look like and it was just brown everything was brown 
like the app didn't pick up the red i was like okay that 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 began like a problem and after i did it on my ipad i was like okay forget it i'm gonna do it myself like i always do i just wanted to try something else like i'm always experimenting and trying something new but yes i wasn't satisfied so i put that on my my app and my tablet and everything was kind of too brown again and i will also yes before i forget i will put them on my coffee uh, page so if you want to subscribe to see more of my stuff i'm gonna put some stuff i won't put on instagram or another application i just want to have some like nice extra for people who wants to support me and follow me because also uh, if some people may know and some might not know uh for now i'm working full time on that so every help is or any help is appreciated so yes so i'm gonna put that in you can see all the process and what i'm talking about right now so i put the first palette in super brown and an accent of red and i didn't like it very much i put it aside because obviously i was doing that at like 2 a.m which which i shouldn't do that but sometimes inspiration just like strike at the weirdest moment and the second one was more pleasing to me at the end because i use a bunch of contrasted colors so i use red purple and kind of like yellow but with an accent of green so it was working well but every time i got this problem when i have to paint with gouache or watercolor or whatever when i have to paint in real life not digitally the problem is i never respect my palette i'm like okay the helmet is kind of like purple i have the color here i can mix it up to look at exactly the way it could look on my ipad and every time stuff happened and it doesn't look like what i was supposed to do so it's exactly what happened in this one you can see everything was supposed to be like purple but also brownish purple more like um how i can say that like tone hues like less saturated more flat but i can't do that i don't know if it's because i'm a tattoo artist like first of all that was my job for six years and i'm i'm used to have to contrast a lot of my colors because some palette will work fine on an ipad but at the time you will put that on a client or someone it will look bad because you have to put in context the skin tone behind you so the way i was working too before as a tattoo artist was like putting a lot of contrast into stuff to be sure even if you're a bit far away or something like people will be able to identify what what is your tattoo so i think part of the problem is that for me when i have to do a painting but it's also like a nice problem in a way my stuff are very saturated and i really love working with colors so over time i, I begin to love that but almost all of the artists i'm following are like less colorful more like darkish tone and i love that but every time i'm like okay i can do that to myself i can't i just can't it's probably just the way the type of artist i am so yes so you can see the snakes are almost done the scales was such a pain i still have to find like a nice way to make them i know how to draw scales but i get so easily bored that i'm trying to find all the the brushes i can to make them like as fast as possible but at the same time i'm not that happy all the time with the result for this one they were big but i will say again at the same time it worked well because we can see from far like if i have to put this in a convention you really know it's snakes from far away i don't need to be like to be so close and squint your eyes to see what it is so it worked but for next time i want to do better than that like maybe put them a tiny bit smaller try to practice more on my scales but for now it worked well and i was pretty happy to be this here i don't know if you noticed it was at first it was kind of an accident and i began to like it but all the almost all the hair stroke at the end was mimicking uh, a snake thong 
so I was pretty happy about that. I just love to give like such stuff like that to just remind the character's personality or tracks. It just just the way I love to do it, I guess. So yes, and for the part after, I'm not sure I'm quite at this part yet. But the background was so hard to do. Even the helmet. The helmet was hard because metal textures is something so tricky to do. Because you can use a color you will think it will suit well and it will not at the end. And also, friendly reminder tip, the color theory for metal is so complicated. For me, it is at least because it's not gray it's not like it's kind of like painting a rock you will think oh it's gray because it's a rock but actually no a rock is brown it have moss on it so it have green it can be red it can be purple there's a lot of rocks like there are different type of rocks so it's kind of the same with metal you can have gold silver uh, iron so yeah, I have an hard time with that. I'm trying to practice more and this painting was a good way for that. It was so hard to do it, but at the same time, I think I learned a lot. I was hating all of this painting at first and at the end I was like, okay, no, it's a nice improvement and I'm happy about the result and I should stop always being worrying about that. But I think that's the fate of every artist. Every time we're doing something, we're so perfectionist and everything like we can't be satisfied it's always art is just i don't know it's a living process like you will change every time you're doing a painting you will change every time you're doing a sketch you will not be the same artist as you were after a painting so it's it's in constant movement but that's nice that's cool that's why i love making art but at the same time it's so frustrating because it can be that and sometimes you can just be stick on your progress and be like I simply don't understand and I don't understand why I don't understand and I wish I could understand and you're just stuck in this like weird sad and like annoying loop because the way your brain will work when you have to progress in art you have um, I'm not sure I will explain it right, but you have your progress like in your mind, where your mind is actually is in your head, like in everything. And you have your physical progress, what you can do. And sometimes when you're making a progress, those two lines will align together. And you'll be like, dang, what I'm doing is so nice. Like, I feel like I'm getting somewhere because your brain will be aligned with your skills yeah that's the skills that's the word i was searching for and after there's always a plateau where you will be like oh fudge i have no inspiration nothing seems to work is it because i'm a bad artist what's what's happening and after like you will realize again it's like story of an artist's life but at the same time like bear with it because you will feel down, but you will have progress at some point if you never stop doing it. If you never stop trying, you will have progress. It's just the way it is. So for this one, the other progress I can say I made was to reuse my uh, color pencils again. For people who's following me for a while on Instagram and before, you will probably see my art changing a lot over time. and. Um, I'm so like, I will say like movement artist. I don't know. I can't stay in one place. I can't stay in one medium. I have to try it all the time. So first of all, I was doing a lot of color pencil. I'm using Faber-Castell Polychromos. I love them. I did everything on it. After I was doing my base with watercolor and I was drawing on it too. So if you begin to with color pencil, it's a good way to do. You just have to put a layer of watercolor on your paper and draw on the top it helps so much because it will just tone your white and you will be able to see your color way more and i don't know the the color pencil just applies so good on watercolor it just stick well so i was doing that for a while i dropped that to go 
only watercolor for a while because also my big skills as a tattoo artist is I was a watercolor tattoo artist. So I did a lot of watercolor stuff and my clients were liking it a lot. So I was just keeping that and doing that. But at some point near last year and the other, I get a bit bored because is it really what just what I can do, just that? So I switch for gouache too, which I really love because it's very saturated and like sharp. Yeah, I love the sharp, the sharpness of this thing. And I just got back to pencils too. I'm just drawing and I'm so happy I just did because it was a waste to let them like staying alone in my room in the dark and reusing them on this one just put a nice accent so the yellow is mostly only just with my color pencil and in this shot you can also see but not feel it i hope you will feel because you need to feel it with me i was about to probably cry on this sequence because <laughs> i used uh, my watercolor that i made i didn't post this one i think on instagram i tried something stupid I put a red one and a blue one on the same pan and I was kind of like wanted to make a marble watercolors like pan stuff. So every time I was uh, dipping my brush into the watercolor, it will pick like a different tone. So it could be purple because the, the red and blue mix or just the blue or just the, the red. So I was like, oh, it will look nice for the flames because since the beginning, I'm having an art time with the background. I'm always having an art time with background. So I was like, okay, that's a good practice. And I'm gonna use that, it will make some such good use. And now, at first you can see, all the, the background seems to have flattened the, the character. You can't see well the armor now, the purple just flattened a bit. And I was like, what I've done, what I've done. I can be like all dark all the time. So on the top, I tried to like use another watercolor pen I made. It's kind of a baby pink. So I mix it with my marble pan and I was like, okay, we can, we can find something nice here. And I use a yellow too, to try to make kind of like a hollow hal background because in my mind, the, the light will come from the, the up, upper part of the drawing. And I think it turned well. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not, I'm sure when I look at it on the sun, but when I did it, and you can't see it on the picture, but all the watercolor I made for this video have a fuck ton of glitters in it. So in the sun, in the right light, it shines so much. It looks so nice. But on the picture right now, it's like, okay, what's happening in this one? I'm not sure I understand well, but I promise it looks very good. You will see at the end. And after i didn't put it in the video but i put some gold and you can see it just right now so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time mother wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life